we all love a little bit of bike tech, don't we? Now, normally we rely on the big manufacturers to give it to us, particularly with innovations regarding aerodynamics and lightweight. But cycling has long since had a history of small frame builders making bespoke products and really pushing the boundaries. Now, a decade or so ago, it seemed like that industry was kind of on the wane, but now it's absolutely exploding. You can see right behind me at the UK Bespoke Show here. There's some great stuff. Let's go check it out. Now this one from Czech brand Fesca has really caught my eye. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's drop dead gorgeous. You might not think it's necessarily that innovative, but it is. Now, so it's a tie and carbon mix, but normally you'd see uh, tie lugs and carbon tubes, which is kind of the wrong way around because the tie is flexy and the carbon is stiff. So whereas these guys have taken their expertise in carbon and then brought it to tie. So it's got carbon lugs and then tie tubes. But it goes further than that as well. So, for example, they've got the integrated seat post here, but the internal diameter is 31.8. So if you get bored or you grow or you sell it, you can cut it off there and then you can actually use it as a normal seat post. You just have to add a clamp, which I think is actually a really nice touch on a custom bike. As you might expect as well, the standard of craftsmanship is absolutely top notch here. And they've got the ability in-house to actually lay up carbon individually so they can tailor the ride as much as you want. You can add in layers, you can tailor the, uh, the direction of the weave and the tubes to alter stiffness as well. So it's probably about as custom as you could possibly get, which is kind of cool. So this from the Bronze Cycle Company certainly isn't something that you'd normally expect to see on GCN, but it's just absolutely incredible. So, this has mainly been entirely handmade, cast from bronze. It harks back to like the bygone era of cycling, but still with a bond touch. Like it's got decent brakes. It's got a kickback hub, wooden rims, which are clinchers still clincher wooden rims, uh, and it, it's all been inspired by a poem by W. B. Yeats. I just think it's a work of art. This one actually. So this is Kime Cycles, and you can probably see why it stood out. It's made of wood and it, it's absolutely incredible. We spoke to the, uh, the owner, Till, and he was explaining that they've used carbon fiber technology to make a wooden frame. So in here, there's 150 different pieces of wood, all machined into the perfect space, and then they glue it all together and uh, vacuum press it, and this is what you get. Apparently, 2.5 kilos for the frame, which is, you know, it's kind of heavy for carbon standards, but you know, not too bad really at all. But the ride, supposedly, is breathtakingly quiet. You kind of never really think when you're riding a carbon bike how noisy it is, but this is super, super quiet. But even better than that is the fact that on a wooden frame, there's Campagnolo record EPS, carbon forks. It's a proper top flight, like, hemp road bike made of wood. Just love it. Okay, so, so how do they ride? Is it comparable to a carbon bike? Uh, it's a bit less stiff. It's very silent. It's very um, noise absorbing, which is uh, nice for <laughs> when you're riding on it. And, and the other thing I'm dying to ask is how much does it weigh? So right now uh, our frames or the, the uh, whole bicycle like this is weighing uh, 8 kilo and 6. Now these guys are field. They're a, a British brand and they really stand out. Principally, I think, initially, just because of the quality of the finish on these products. They, uh, they take real pride in their paint jobs. It's a three-man band, they've got the, uh, the actual frame builder, they've got a graphic designer, he influences fairly clear, and then also a master painter as well. And just the aesthetic of these bikes is just top-notch. Everything's done in-house, they've got even down to their own dropouts. A lot of frame builders can just buy dropouts off the peg, whereas these guys are, are CNC machining theirs as well. I think we can just stand back and admire this one, actually. I, I set it up with the intention to make the most beautiful thing we possibly could. And I realised quite quickly that you need to find really talented people to do their bit. We take it really seriously. We, we make the tools to make the bikes. As, you know, we, we're not cutting any corners. It's all... That's why it takes us quite a long time to make a bike, and that's why you have to wait quite a long time. Now this little gem has been tucked away down a side alley, but it's a Pegoretti, and for the connoisseur, the Pegoretti is one of the most sought-after frames out there. So Dario Pegoretti makes frames in Italy, 
this one is his Duende model, which is uh, quite a relaxed, kind of cruisy road bike. But what really, really stands out is the paint job. Now, Pegoretti's famed for his paint jobs, and you can specify that he basically goes to town and does a one-off piece of art. So this is a one-off Pegoretti. Well, I imagine we're all feeling a little bit flustered after that, but bike porn doesn't stop there on GCN. No, no, if you want to see some pro bikes, of which we've got many, why not click up there to that playlist. But the other thing that really strikes me about all these bikes is they are so clean. So your bike can look clean as well. If you click down there and watch how to clean your bike in 30 minutes, it will come up looking like new. Before you get to either of those though, you've got to remember to subscribe to GCN and also give this video a like as well. The frame builders will appreciate it.